All right, here we go. We're going through our PSMT style guide. We have got the conclusion, the reference list, and the appendices to go, and that's it. Appendixes? Appendices? I think it's appendices. Anyway, let's move on. All right, conclusion. Don't focus a large amount of your energy on your conclusion. It needs to exist, right? Um, your maths teachers aren't English teachers. I don't think they're going to get super hung up on conclusions. But talk to them about it. We are trying to hit it though, right? If you do not have a conclusion, then a teacher can't really in good conscience highlight this word conclusion, which means that they're not highlighting that entire dot point right there. So, a conclusion. It must exist. That is my criteria for a good conclusion. A reference list. Now, your reference list should exist. If you do not have a reference list, it means you have no in-text referencing. If you have no in-text referencing, that means that your observations and assumptions are probably pretty weak. So, a reference list, it should be here. If it's not here, you should start to be a little concerned. Um, talk to your teacher if you do not have a reference list specifically talking about your observations and assumptions. How are you going to hit documentation if you are not doing those in-text references? Um, now, in terms of like how to set up a reference list, again, I'm a maths teacher. You definitely have some sort of style guide in your school, APA, etc., etc. Figure it out. When it comes to appendices, these absolutely will not be marked. Do not put anything in an appendix that you need a teacher to see for them to like highlight a dot point. If you are about to put something in your appendix, what you first need to do is say, do I want my teacher to look at that? If the answer is yes, find a way to take an excerpt from it, sample calculation, sample table, small excerpt from table and then say for full table see appendices for full calculations see appendices if you did not put that sample into your solution section you're in big trouble things aren't going to go well so appendices are there to put large tables in repeated calculations in but if it's a repeated calculation show the first one if it's, um, if it's, be careful what we mean by repeated calculation. Don't just find the derivative of one function and say, and I also found the derivatives of all the other functions, if all the other functions are different functions. If you want to show that you can derive polynomials, trigonometric functions, exponential functions, all the other functions, then you need to show each of those happening in the body of work. If you, for some reason, have to derive 10 polynomial functions over and over and over again, do the first one, put the other nine in the appendix. But you want to keep asking yourself the question, do I want my teacher to look at this? And if the answer is yes, find a way to put an excerpt in your assignment. Can you tell that I've had a lot of students put things in the appendix that I really would have preferred they put in the body of their assignment? Don't do it. Obviously the QCAA has something about to say about this. Nothing different to what I've just said. So again, that's what the QCAA says. Do it. That brings me to the end. Covered our entire genre guide. We've gone top to bottom. Now, the way that we've covered this has been interesting because we haven't covered it as in look at the ISMG, here's dot point one, look at the ISMG, here's dot point two. We've instead said here is a guide for how to set out a mathematical report and then we've shown throughout our mathematical report how we're going to be hitting each dot point of the ISMG. And I think this is a, a better way to go. You've got to write this mathematical report. I think this is the way to do it. I am going to finish this whole video series the exact way that I started it. And that's by telling you that I do not know everything about the PSMT. I am not some sort of person with inside information on how a PSMT 
should or must be written. I'm a maths teacher working within the uh, Queensland system who has had a lot of students do PSMTs, had a lot of students do very well on PSMTs, um, submitted a lot of PSMTs to the QCAA to be confirmed, and they all have been confirmed, touch wood, uh, and this is the way that I go about it. However, you have a maths teacher, your maths teacher is your teacher, make sure that you talk to your teacher about it and say, hey, I think maybe I'm gonna set it up like this, what do you think? And then ask them what they think about the way that you're setting it up. Because inevitably, they are the teacher that is gonna be marking this PSMT, and different teachers have different things that they tend to focus on, different things that they're very concerned about, not very concerned about. All right, that is the end. Good luck on your PSMT. I hope you nail it. Um, catch ya.